Hi there, Terry Duncan here with Cut, Color, and Create. And I want to welcome, welcome you into my craft studio. I'm doing something really exciting today, and that is that I'm participating in a video hop with other Altenew educators. So make sure you check out all the details down below in the description about that and, and the giveaways and prizes as well that are uh, uh, going along with that hop. The name of the hop is called Colorful Carnations. And I thought I'd play on that by using some of my favorite inks, my Altenew Fresh. Uh, and I'm going to go with one of my tried and true stamp sets. It's called Majestic Bloom. And uh, I'm going to make those carnations. I hope that's what they are. Um, but the, if they aren't, they're going to be today for our card. And instead of making them all in one colorway, I'm going to use a pink, kind of a purpley color and a blue for the flowers. So I've got rose quartz, pink crystal and Arctic. And then for the leaf greenery um, and that kind of thing, I'm going to use silver sage and eucalyptus. The other things that I have here in my stash, I do have a little piece of rose gold uh, metallic cardstock just in case I need it. I have an A2 card base and a couple of A2 size card panels. If you're new to card making, A2 is four and a quarter inches by five and a half. I do have a copy of the guide that comes with your your uh, stamp set, it looks like that in real life, but I have a copy of that. And then I'm going to use my stamp wheel to do my stamping. So let's get started. I'm just going to remove the lid. As you can see, my stamp wheel is very well loved. Okay. So I'm going to ink up my stamp with black ink. Use my pressure tool. I see there's a couple air bubbles in my stamp, so. But that is a pretty good impression. So I'm going to stick with that. Okay. Next, I am going to go with this big solid stamp and I'm going to go with the pink. Now, I have not figured out a way that you can't do this without getting your head down over the stamp, but I'm gonna try for the sake of this video and the with the magic of TV, I'll try to do it so that you don't have to see the top of my head. So we're going to pick that up. You always want to make sure that you have the uh, cover of your stamp wheel aligned correctly. I have marked mine with a green um, sticker so that I can try to remember to always put that at the top. But I'm just loading the stamp up with my ink and we'll see how this does. It looks like it's a little bit blotchy, so I'll have to do another layer. 
not too bad, but. And that is the problem that you have with these great big flat stamps is that sometimes the image is kind of blotchy and you just take care of that with a second layer of ink. There we go. Okay, so that's layer one down. I can see that, you, I don't know if you can see it on my stamp or not, but some of the black ink is coming up. That's okay, but if I were you, I would, I would either wait till the black is completely dry or use a hair dryer. I'm just moving along because I don't want this uh, video to take forever. Let's see, I think this is the next layer. And again, I'm just using those same points to line up my stamp that I used for the first one really. And put your head down over your image is the best way to get it aligned. Altenew makes it easy with the lines that they put in the stamps. Okay, now I'm gonna go with the purpley one, which is called Pink Crystal. And that turned out pretty well. I'm gonna add a little more ink so it's a little bit darker. And then for the third layer, In aligning it in exactly the same place. And this time I'm going to use Arctic. That is absolutely beautiful. My ink pads are really juicy. I see it's running a little bit, but I think I've got an idea of how I can deal with that. So it does have the stamp set has a center that goes 
right in here. Let's just take a look at our swatch book. I wonder what emerald would look like in there. I think that's what I'm going to try. And again, I'm doing that to kind of stick with the colorful carnations theme. So. That was probably too dark. But we'll try to do something about that later. Okay, now going to maybe put a couple of leaves in. See what that's like. That's pretty dark too. So I'm going to try to get this place just perfectly. That's very pretty. I used the wrong color. I guess it's all right. It's just not the color I wanted it to be. This time I'm going to yeah, I'm going to use jade instead of emerald.
I like that. And then there's these little feathery veins, which I'm just going to put on this one. If I can figure out where they go, I'm going to have to get my head down in here. We'll see how that goes. And this time, I am going to use emerald for those little edges. That is not what I wanted to use. I'm going to use eucalyptus. I didn't get it exactly lined up, but I think it's going to be fine. So I think I'll stop with the stamping there. And then I thought I'd do a little water coloring. I'll just leave it on my stamp wheel, but I'm going to use a water brush. And remember I said I didn't like how dark that center was. And I thought maybe we'll see how this works. You don't want to get it too saturated because it isn't watercolor paper, but it did pull some of the color out, which is fine. And then I'm going to go in and touch it up with some, uh, some gold or something. So the other thing I thought in keeping with the colorful theme, I thought I might add some colors around the edges. And I'm going to do that by water coloring them on. So I'm going to put a little bit of water, a little bit more water down on my work surface. And I'm sorry that you can't see that. And then I always love to use dusk for background. It's kind of this blue with a little bit of gray in it. And I'm just going to smush that onto my work surface. I got plenty there. And then I'm going to dilute it quite a bit so that I just have this kind of, I want to create kind of a, ooh, that's coming off very dark. There we go. And I'm just kind of squiggling, is that a word?
Okay. Well, that I think you're either going to love it or you hate, you're going to hate it. <laughs> Now, I am going to do one more thing. So I am just going to turn on some music, speed up the video, and hopefully you enjoy my coloring. couple of tries before I found the perfect colors to frame my pretty carnation with but in the end it worked out beautifully I had a lot of fun making this card I hope you did too if you did click on the subscribe button and the bell to be reminded when I post another video have fun on the rest of the hop bye for now <laughs>